I enjoy the Acolyte. There, I said it. I am a fan. I am a Star Wars fan, and I actually enjoy the Acolyte. And I, I will admit, it does have its flaws. But me personally, I'm having a fun time. Now, I do know that there is... There, there's a lot to say about this show. I remember in the pre, um, the, the, you know, you know the interviews they do before the show comes out, and the showrunner was talking about how, oh my gosh, I know I think it was the director of the, or the writer, and she was like, oh, I think R two D two is a lesbian or something like that, and they were just they're they're trying to make everyone in Star Wars gay, and you know, okay, that's that's a different topic for another time, but. Um, my, the, the main problem I have is that the writers of the show don't know about Star Wars. The writers of the show are not Star Wars fans. They're just here to make a Star Wars story. And I don't know, like it, it just, I feel like their approach to writing the show is the reason why so many people don't like it. I mean, me personally, I'm having a good time watching it. I'm just trying to enjoy the show. But if you really look down at the nitty gritty each and every single main character in this story is either a woman, a minority, or an alien. And it's it's kind of crazy how it it is it is extremely woke. It really is and I can see why people may have a problem with it. That is my first um gripe about the show. The second thing that really bugs me may not her as a character, but her hair. What is going on? When I am watching a show, I need my main characters, my main villains. I need them to have sauce. I need them to have aura. I need them to look cool. You got to have drip because you look good, feel good, play good. You know what I'm saying? But May's hair, what is going on? Like she has she has the, 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 the dreads or whatever, but why are they short in the front but long in the back? Why does your hair grow so unevenly and this unevenly? Why is it so short? up front but so long in the back i don't get it and i think it's stupid and i hate her haircut and it, she only has this haircut for a stupid reason later on in the show but like they she could have just had the same haircut as osha and it would have made it easier <sighs> stupid haircut um there's a lot of other things that we can go on and on about we can nitpick this show to pieces all day if we wanted to but i'm going to talk about why i enjoy the show Straight off of episode one, I've been enjoying it. I thought it was a cool story, you know, with the whole twin aspect. One more thing, one more thing I need to talk about. Jedi Lady dies to a knife to the heart in the first episode. And I applaud the writers of this show for being realistic. Because, yes, if, 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 if there is a knife, if you get stabbed with a knife to your heart... With the force, mind you, I'm pretty sure that the knife would kill you because you guys have the heart. But even though this is realistic, it 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 just makes everything else that Star Wars has come out with look stupid. Because Reva was able to survive not one, but two stabs to a light with a lightsaber to the stomach. And now when a lightsaber goes through your stomach, it chars and cuts through your internal organs, which you need to survive. Lightsabers make such clean cuts that no blood comes out. It's just going to fry your internal organs. So both her internal organs got fried not once, but twice, and once when she was a kid. And when she was a kid, your internal organs are all together. If you get stabbed in the stomach with a lightsaber, you die. So why is she alive? And then Sabine, I'm not going to get into it, but I'm just saying... This is pretty realistic in this show, but it makes all the rest of Star Wars look stupid because why are people surviving lightsaber stabs to the stomach? Um, I was really invested since episode one. I love the whole, you know, twin aspect. And oh my gosh, we think it's Osha who's killing Jedi, but it's actually May. And then a lot of people were mad about episode three. Me personally, I didn't really care. When like before I watched the episode. Everybody was saying, oh, Star Wars is woke. We've got force lesbians out here. Blah, 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 blah. It's not that bad. Like, it's, 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 they're witches. It was kind of like the Night Sisters, sort of, but not the Night Sisters, but like the Night Sisters. They're, they're using, they use the force, but they don't call it the force. They're using like space magic and they like created new life, which was Osha and May, which was the twins. And they were like going to become witches and whatnot but osha wanted to become a jedi and her twin sister wanted to become a witch and then 
May is like, hey, I don't like you. I'm going to burn our house down, which was OK. Character motiv- character motivations are a bit iffy. I'm not going to lie to you. Character motivations are a bit iffy because Osha wants to go become a Jedi. And then May's like, oh, well, huh, I'm going to kill you. Right. Right. Your twin sister. Twin sister. You who you love. You're just going to kill her. Right. And so, you know, I didn't think it was that bad, though. I, I, I can see why people had a problem with it. It is, like I said, the wokeness is a bit much. It is a tad bit much. But I didn't really have a problem with it. Um, my favorite episode so far is episode five. And a lot of people had a problem with this episode as well. And I could also see why the Sith dude, the Sith dude shows up. All right. And oh, my gosh. We, you want to talk about Aura? You want to talk about Aura and Sauce and Drip? Brother, I don't even know this dude's name. But he just looked cool. Bro's got the muscles and the, and the and the lightsaber, and he's just out here killing people. And it, it does make the Jedi look very incompetent. The Jedi lost like a 8v1, I'm not going to lie. This dude is fighting like five Jedi at once, and he just starts killing all of them back to back to back to back to back. And he has he has this helmet, and it's made out of some material. And everybody was getting mad. They were like, eh, no, headbutting a lightsaber, stupid. No, because the metal is in established Star Wars lore. It is stronger than Beskar. It exists in Star Wars lore, so it's cool. Bro, headbutt a lightsaber, and apparently the material that the helmet is made out of, it, like, deactivates a lightsaber. So when he headbutts the lightsaber, the lightsaber deactivates, and then he got an easy kill on the Jedi. But headbutting a lightsaber is just so cool. And the the fight scenes in this, the lightsaber duel in this, in this episode, this is the best lightsaber duels we have gotten since Revenge of the Sith. Hats off to the directors of this show. You have done it. You have brought lightsaber duels back. And I feel like that might be why I like this show so much. Because, honestly... I watch Star Wars because I like fun fights with laser swords and I like the Jedi and the Sith aspect. And this whole show is we get we, we get new Jedi lore. And, you know, this is when the Jedi are at the peak of their peakness of power in the galaxy. And they're like on every planet. They're kind of basically just like a police force going around the planet. And, you know, they're doing the political thing as well. But this is like the peak of the Jedi power. And I'm really enjoying learning more about jedi lore and we get this really cool lightsaber duel and it's it, it's fantastic but the villain let me let me find out what this dude's name is because i swear i swear that they they never they never even say it so um but i'm gonna do right now right i'm gonna search up the accolade and um i'm gonna go to cast right right what is this guy's name kamir this guy's name's kamir oh my gosh he he does some very cool things now, one, his, I wasn't expecting so many people to die in this episode. Now, spoilers, I mean, if you care about spoilers, I feel like you don't. If you're watching this, you probably don't even care about the Acolyte. Anyway, spoilers ahead. He's fighting the Jedi, right? And our one main guy, Soul, he's like, you know, that that that's our Jedi guy, but he has a whole team of Jedi with him. He has his Padawan, this other guy, who I forget his name, who's been with us the entire time, but like Every single person dies except Sol, May, and Osha. And his Padawan gets an insane death. But his Padawan was going nuts. His Padawan was going nuts. She was keeping up with Kamir. And Kamir is a very great fighter. He is very adept at lightsaber duel. Though, the duel between Kamir and the Padawan, it's just so good. It is just so good. Like, she was jumping off her rocks and, like, slamming down. It was really cool. It was really cool. Anyway, (laughs) You can tell. You can tell that I really like this. It's 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 nice. It's nice. Okay, so where was I? They're fighting each other, and then Kamir's like about to like lose the fight, low key. But he does this thing where he like like splits his lightsaber into two, and then like it was like bullets. He like stabbed this girl three times, like boom, boom, boom. I was like, oh my gosh, we're getting quite graphic. And then the other Jedi guy that was with him, Kamir didn't even use a lightsaber. He just walked up behind him and, like, twisted his neck and killed him. I was like, oh, my gosh. This is brutal and amazing. So, yeah, I really loved that. And the latest episode that came out yesterday, episode six, they were talking, they were talking about how, like, like um, May and Osha did, did a switcheroonie, you know, a little, a little, a little twin flop thing because... May was trying to trick Soul that she was Osha, and that's why she cut off her long hair to make it short. But why didn't you just have it short from the beginning? Because the long—that's stupid. Anyway, 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 anyway. 
they did a little switch swap thing and now Kamir is with Osha and he's like telling him his backstory and you know he's teaching her about the force and his ideals and whatnot and I'm, I, I know a lot of people just don't like what's happening with this show a lot of people are saying this isn't canon this isn't their Star Wars I like it maybe I just really like Star Wars and I don't care and maybe I'm blinded by cool lightsaber duels but I don't know me personally I'm having a pretty fun time you know um I think this is better than Ahsoka I don't know if that's hot that's probably an extremely hot take but I think this is better than Ahsoka but you know let me know what you think about the show in the comment section down below um yeah if you're still here watching the video thank you I appreciate you don't forget to drop a like and subscribe you're trying to hit 1k subs very very soon we're getting close we're getting close Hit the subscribe button, join the Beam team, click the link in the description to go to the Discord, join the Discord, and um, yeah, that is about it. Hope you have a great day. I love you. Peace out, and may the Force be with you always.